flaxseed versus fish oil. I'm going to tell you the difference. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dr. Stan Ekberg with Wellness for Life. And if you would like to have the best possible health by understanding how the body truly works, then make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications so that you don't miss anything. When we talk about flax and fish oil, we're really talking about omega-3 oils. And there's two major sources. One is, of course, flax, which is the vegetable source. It gives us ALA, which is alpha-linolenic acid. And the animal source, or fish source, uh, gives us EPA or DHA. So here's what's actually happening in the body. You eat the vegetable source, the ALA, known as alpha-linolenic acid, and it gets converted into a couple of intermediaries that we don't concern ourselves with, but eventually it becomes EPA, or eicosapentaenoic acid, which is an anti-inflammatory. That's why it's so beneficial for most degenerative conditions, especially heart disease. And this EPA eventually gets converted into DHA, or docosahexaenoic acid, which is an even longer six-fold unsaturated fatty acid. And this is especially useful for cell membranes, and we have tons of those in the cortex of the brain and in the eye. The cortex is as much as 15 to 20 percent DHA, and the retina is as much as 30 to 60 percent DHA by weight. So you would think then that if I just get enough of the flax oil, then the body can make all of the stuff that it needs. Well, unfortunately, it's not quite that simple because there's something called a rate limiting step. This step here, this conversion, only happens if we have enough of an enzyme called delta-6 desaturase. So the conversion happens somewhere between 1% and 10% of the time. So if you eat flaxseed, as little as 1% could get converted into the stuff that you really need. So eating flax isn't enough. Uh, ideally, you could convert as much as 10% if you're super, super healthy. So what are some of the factors? Well, this enzyme is inhibited by stress and by sugar and by grains. So all of the things that are abundant in our modern life has the tendency to turn off this conversion. So if you're super, super healthy, then you could probably get away with eating flax oil and converting as much as you need into EPA and DHA, for most of the population, they're probably closer to the 1% conversion, and they're going to be severely deficient in EPA and DHA, and the best source is fish oil. So my best recommendation would be to eat the flaxseed because it's super cheap. It is a fantastic whole food. It gives us protein. It gives us healthy fat. Even if we can't convert it all the way to EPA and DHA, it's still a healthy fat. And it gives us a tremendous amount of fiber to keep the bowel moving. And then you take the fish oil as a supplement to give you the EPA and the DHA that your body is desperately deficient in. So you eat flaxseed for the food purpose and you take the fish oil as a supplement. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll have more videos coming, so if you let us know what you'd like to know more about, we'll be more than happy to try to answer those questions, either in the comment section or in the form of another video. Thank you so much.